Hello, in this video, I'm going to show you how to download a global building footprint data from uh, Microsoft with only one command line. And uh, so Microsoft uh, recently released the global footprint data. Uh, in the past, it also released uh, data for US, Canada, Australia. But this time, uh, it released all the data uh, for all the countries, pretty much, uh, except China, but uh, all the other countries, uh, North America, South America, Africa, uh, Europe, and also um, uh, some of the Asian countries, and also uh, Australia. And so in this video, I'm going to show you how to download all the data and just using one command line. Uh, you don't have to do that one by one. So uh, you can search Google or you can go to the URL. Uh, the link is also in the description below. So Microsoft just released this one um, three days ago. So it's quite a recent uh, data set. And if you scroll down here, uh, it's going to show you here in total over 700 million buildings, uh, building footprints uh, in line delimited uh, geotation format. I'm going to show you how to actually to uh, open the data and visualize the data in uh, on interactive map. But for now, just look at here, right? So for every country or every location, there's a link in here. So if you if you right click uh, or you can just click uh, you can actually download this one to your computer so uh, for example you can just save click save um, but there's just too many locations so there's um, it's very inconvenient if you have to download one by one so also look at the file size uh, it varies from like several uh, kilobyte to megabyte and also some uh, several gigabytes so for example uh, and also keep in mind this is a, a compressed it's a zip file so when you unzip the file it's going to be much bigger so the file size um, is pretty huge if you download all the countries but uh, i'm going to show you how to that if you want to download all of them or you want to uh, download um, just a few countries uh, you can still just using one command line and so the method i'm going to show you here uh, is not limited to download uh, microsoft uh, building footprint data it can download any data um, as long as you have a url a direct url you can do that uh, very very um, efficiently so and so uh, as i said uh, these are some of the countries at a global scale but uh, for other countries you might want to scroll down here right the us australia you can click the link to go to each one so those data were already released um, a year ago so for example or a couple months ago and uh, you might if you if you really want uh, the global scale data you might need to download them as well so but in this video i'm just going to show you here how to download this okay so first we need to extract all the links so these are all the hyperlinks right so we need to actually get all the links and um, there are so many ways you can do that but uh, i'm going to show you uh, the easiest way so you can just uh, search uh, chrome uh, extension uh, link cl uh, clipper so this is a google chrome extension right? and then just click this one here if you have not installed uh, this extension before you will need to install um, my internet is a bit slow so i just click add to chrome and then use upper right corner here you should see this one here link clipper and so next uh, let's come back to the web page here a uh, github page right it has all the links so the uh, Chrome extension essentially we extract all the links so all we need to do is just click this one and then uh, click extract all links and pop here asking you to save the CSV to your computer just click save and that's it and then you can open this one on your computer so essentially just a txt file and with all the links and if you scroll down here right so what we need to do is to find out the links so look at this one here uh, the zip file right so what we need is all the zip files all the links right starting from here the first one all the way to uh, this one so look at here so what we need to do is select the first one and then scroll all the way down here i believe this is the last one right and that's all and then right just copy so what we want is to actually uh, save this one as a txt file so you can use any text editor to create a txt so i'm just going to name this one links.txt and then double click control view right and so paste now now we have all the links so look at this one 193 so basically 193 uh, locations or countries and then just 
control S to save the file and you can open that again right so this is the file we're going to use uh, so next i'm going to show you what kind of program uh we're going to use so because i'm using linux uh, there's a program called w get so i'm going to show you here if you're using windows uh in the next video i'm going to show you how to set that up uh, so you can also use the command line uh on windows but for now if you just you want to use the w uh, get it won't work so this is the program so w get uh, is a program that allows you to download data from the internet so you can download from uil but what we want is to ask the program to download all the files they specify uh, in this program and so as you can see uh, this is pretty huge so as a, a demo i'm just going to download as a couple small files so that you can have an idea but uh, you are welcome to download all of them if you have a, a fast internet so let me make a copy here um maybe link maybe full all right so i'm just going to use this one because um i just want to download just a few files so let me see here and did it all others uh, because it might take a while to download all of them so it's going to take time so i'm just going to maybe how about this i'm going to delete some of those and for example here delete the other two so i maybe just three files okay uh, because those are pretty small so if you go back to the website here right uh 12 kb and uh, also kb right and the last one here so i'm just going to download three files just to show you the idea but you can download all of them if you want so now we have this uh links.txt with all the url in there and we're just going uh, to download all the files directly so next come here again w get uh and then uh this i so basically we're going to provide uh provide an input file so the input file is link doc you just press tab uh, link doc txt that's it and so take a look so on the right here right now we don't have the files here so we just need to press hit enter uh take a look it's going to download all the files let's uh, just a couple seconds now we have um these three zip files here uh on our computer so you can open you can take a look uh it's a geojson l so this is a so-called new uh light eliminate diminutive uh file so it's kind of similar to geojson but uh just it's a geometry as one line right? and then i'm going to show you later but for now uh assume that we'll have all the files so similarly you can use another program to automatically unzip all the files so uh, I, I can just simply for example go here I can extract and then unzip but uh, if you have like 193 files you definitely do not want to unzip them one by one so I'm showing another program so it called unzip and then just uh, for example single code start up zip All right so this one basically is going to unzip all the zip files within the current directory so pay attention right so right now we have these couple of files right so let me execute this one um take a look so now we have all the files so the geojson has been unzipped right so uh, it doesn't matter how many files you have uh three files 190 290 it doesn't matter it's going to just one command right so very very easy to use and so if you're really quick and let me just show you one more time right so let me go back to the command line cls uh, clear right and just want to download again right so w get um this i and then provide the, the file that with all the links press enter and oops yeah and you see it's going to download again um take a couple seconds depends on your internet uh, my internet is a bit slow right so but if you have fast internet uh, this only takes a couple seconds and then you get all the files and after that again unzip and then um single quotes uh star dot zip uh hit enter that's it now we have all the files once we have all the files then we want to for example you can open this using uh desktop js but i'm gonna show you how you can do that using uh python so for me i'm going to create a notebook so conda activate uh, geo and then just type jupyter lab so we can open jupyter notebook to um, use a leaf map to load the data set uh, it's pretty simple and straightforward so once we open then we can create a new notebooks and we're going to import our leaf map 
and we're also going to import geo pandas is gpt right so we are going to use a geo pandas to read the geo json file so what we need to do for example gtf equal to gpt dot uh, read file uh, pretty simple and so in here let's say i'm going to read maybe andorra dot geo json right and then just uh, alt enter and then press this one uh, you're going to see for example this is all the polygons and it has 8322 uh polygons so next i'm going to show you how you can actually um uh, see the um uh, put this one on the map so you can i believe you can just use a uh, explore uh yeah explore and then you should open this one i think in uh folium um so take a look all right so it's open in volume you can take a look all the polygons uh align pretty nicely take a look here all right so these are all the files that you can see um on the map um but uh you cannot customize because for this uh building data set uh we might want to overlay um satellite imagery um but uh if you're using this way it's uh, it's a bit difficult to do it, so I'm going to show you how to use a uh, leaf map. So I'm going to create a new map called leaf map dot map, and then M. So we're going to create the map first, and next I'm going to show you how easy it is. So map dot add GTF. Uh, so basically, you're going to add the geo data frame. So this GTF. So that's the the name that we use. Uh, um, the variable name that we use, and so it's going to pretty much the same. Um, Although the color, we can customize this one, but uh, it's not the focus. But you can see, uh, again, the very much similar to this one, but uh, this is better because we can change the base map. And if you zoom in, for example, you also be able to uh, see the polygon. But now this is just black color. Uh, I think it's better to be uh, in blue color. So next, I'm gonna show you how to switch the base map. So upper right corner here, pick the toolbar and then the first icon change base map so if you click and then from here i can change to other base map so what we want maybe just the hybrid okay the google uh set up base map and then with labels and then so here uh, again the color is not very obvious uh we i might need to maybe change the default color in uh this map but you get the idea all right so once i uh, open this one now i can see all the uh, uh building uh footprints right over there on top of the satellite imagery right uh, it aligns pretty well uh, because those are all using machine learning and artificial intelligence it's not human delimited so the computer can actually identify this uh, pretty well um, there's some offset here because uh, some of the imagery are not also rectified but uh, uh, it's yeah it's pretty nice data set so this is showing you how to uh, change the um, basement uh, you are welcome to change to uh, any other base map for example as we also have some uh, war imagery right so different uh, base map take a look all right, so all the buildings all the footprints and let me we don't need this one so 8000 uh, over 8000 buildings just for this one and it's just very tiny so think about for other files um, this works pretty well if your uh, vector data is pretty small but uh, if your file is like several gigabyte it's not going to be able to load this one uh, to the map directly so in that way you might need to uh, subdivide the geojson anyway so this is uh, a quick way showing you how to download all the data just using one command line wget uh, dash i and then just the, um, the txt file with all the links um, again uh, you, if you're using windows you cannot directly use the wget command but you can download the wget program uh, or you can use um, um, a windows subsystem for linux and so in the next video i'm going to show you how to do that uh, yeah. and so in that way you can um, use whatever operating system that you want you can also try this one on google collab or binder that uh, you don't have to install anything on a computer you will still be able to uh, download data uh, very efficiently so again it's not limited to the building footprint it can be anything so you can put any uh any url within here as long as their direct url 
uh, then you can download data so you can just just replace this one and then it's the same thing so um very very useful uh tricks that i use to download data um if you especially if you have hundreds of thousands of files that you need to download and this is pretty much i think the most efficient way uh, without using any programming just one command line okay so that's all for this video uh hope you find it useful i'll see you in the next uh video take care bye bye